before then I was like, I'll never learn, I'm stupid in math, it's never my subject. The numbers itself. The fact that this is exactly 37, that's not the I'm Rosemary Bezerra Nader. I've been teaching at Fresno City College for 27 years. It's amazing how the, the math letters and symbols evolve and it suddenly is not as difficult. Her just, her empowerment, she makes me feel real confident when she's breaking down a lesson and also her book, her book is what really helps me when it's like a little Mrs. Nader when she's not physically there because honestly who can really teach a subject especially a book that she wrote herself so my all do she has all my respect and I just her her words of encouragement along with the math I just respect her teaching and just her as a woman but she's boosted my confidence to where I can actually learn and if I really be patient with myself and actually take the time in her way of teaching I just really I really appreciate her taking that time because now I actually can learn. You have two solutions because of the plus or minus. You get non-real solutions when you're subtracting or adding a square root of a negative. Uh, my name is Matt Woods and I am a math instructor here at Fresno City. I think I try to approach math understanding that a lot of people see it differently than I do, which is fun because they're the smallest proportion of learners as far as we can tell. Auditory by far. Uh, <laughs> because, I mean, like I said, if, if, if I explain really well, then an auditory person is going to get it right out of the gate because they're going to hear it, they're going to understand it, they're going to be good to go. Um, yeah, as much as people say that they are visual learners, I, I actually find that most people are actually more kinesthetic. They don't actually learn anything until they're doing it themselves. But now I feel really confident as a person, and now that would... That would really forever be with me the rest of my life because that's gonna, I'm going to need math to apply to my life, honestly.